All right, hello, wine drinking people. We're back. And uh, phew, a lot of drinking in the store this week. This is just the half of it. We're going to have to do another segment on Saturday of what I drank yesterday. And uh, Tanya from GOS was in. And thank you, Tanya, for keeping it short with us, just three wines. But uh, can we make it three good wines next time? Actually, uh, two of the wines were good. Uh, the Commanderie Le Bargemont Couture de Axum Provence Rosé, which is a rosé of Cabernet Sauvignon and Cinso and Grenache, kind of unique for this area. Well, uh, this is Dan Kravitz, kind of unique. And uh, usually uh, you think of Dan and really great quality wines, but I don't know what's going on with the pricing here. 1950 seems a little bit expensive for this wine. A uh, bit of wet stone and light strawberry fruit, toast, uh, note of toasted grain kind of there too, a light floral nuance. Some nice tart red berry fruit showing on the tongue, some stone-like uh, minerality, a little bit of tartness on the finish there, but maybe that's just because of the price. Or, Anyways, the uh, Piedmont Tempranillo Grenache from Navarro. Um, Piedmonte is the name of the winery. Well, that's also the name of an area in Italy. Kind of confusing. Anyways, uh, you know, I sniffed out the Grenache and this, and uh, sweet berry pie-like fruit, wild strawberries, and, uh, you know, fresh flowers, a note of that peppery spice, uh, smooth red berry fruit shown with a touch of that floral note and spice on the finish. Nice freshness, but we're kind of short, simple, one-note wine there. And then uh, the Solorca Reserva Ribera de Duero, and uh, we had to drink two good wines to get to one excellent wine. This wine, very good. Good amount of that fresh graphite and kind of pencil lead showing to that black cherry and dark plum fruit. Very dense and rich. Uh, some nice earthy notes there as well. Some peppery spice. 100% Tempranillo. They do blend sometimes in Ribeiro del Duero. Big and spicy. Lots of chewy tannins for this Tempranillo. And lots of oak opened up really nicely. Uh, opened up yesterday. Uh, drinking really nicely after a day there still. And some lovely spice and uh, dryness on the finish. Uh, really nice, excellent bottle of Ribera del Duero. All right, next up, we've got uh, some uh, old friends from Chalk Hill Winery in the store. <laughs> 